Hi guys! Thank you to my patrons, all of you who are supporting this channel. It means so much to me that you continue to support me. If you want to be a supporter of this channel and like what you see, you can shop in my Amazon shop for anything, not just art supplies. You can leave a tip in the tip jar, description box has a link, and small donations are welcome and I really appreciate them. Today we're working on an 18 by 24 canvas. There was a lot of colors used in this, which I'll list right here at the bottom. And I decided to do a funnel pour. And those funnel pours are really fun because um, they use gravity, basically, to slowly let out the paint. It's kind of like an open cup, but you have a little bit more control. I just use a Dollar Tree funnel here. They come in three sizes, and I use the one that's close to my paint painting size so hey if you haven't joined me Friday 5 West Coast time for my lives we do live painting events every Friday at 5 and you should check it out there's Q&A which is a good opportunity to talk to me directly there's in-depth tutorials a lot of the things that I edit out are right in there very fun and social like last week we tested this rotating pouring cup and I made this beautiful painting. This is like an oval painting, 16 inches. Isn't that pretty? And that was done last week in the lives. So if you ever want to check those lives out, you should live at 5 West Coast time. They're really fun. Okay, now on to this painting. This funnel pour, basically you layer the colors into the funnel however you like, but you can see I dropped the 24 karat gold and a little bit of white from up high. Shooting that up high from the top, gravity pulls it down through the cup, and I do that because I think it helps create some cells. So then you lightly lift up the funnel just barely off of the canvas and you drag. So this is like a funnel drag as you slowly let out the paint. You have a lot of control over how much comes out. Versus a cup, if you were doing a flip and drag, a lot of it kind of bloops out at the front, uh, at the first part of the painting. And this way you do have a pretty fair amount of control. And I do have a wet base here, like I said. Now, my goal here today is to leave some negative space, not necessarily a lot of negative space. I want to create some beautiful flowers, uh, balloon roll flowers, and I want the panes gray to really be a star of the show for this painting and I think it'll provide a lot of depth for these colors. I don't want to overstretch it but there is a lot of paint on there. You can see I'm going to bring you in for a little close up here. Look at all the pretty cells that are developing. That's the 24 karat gold that I dropped from up high and it just fell down fast through that cup, or through that uh, funnel. Lots of pretty patterns and lacing. The purples and the blues pop through every now and again. That's interesting. So now it is time for some balloon rolls. Balloon roll time. And I start making some balloon rolls <laughs> but there's too much paint right now on the canvas and so I realize I'm gonna have to tilt it off and I did that so I tilt some of the paint off and I drizzled with some white I would have preferred not to but if there's too much paint on the canvas you risk cracking and crazing and the balloon rolls really just don't work if the there's just too much paint on the canvas. Basically the paint just continues to kind of fall in on itself over and over and over because Floetrol is self-leveling and that's what I used was Floetrol and water. So I'm kind of working the style for this painting. 
I'm gonna follow some of the natural lines of it. You can see when I do the balloon rolls, some of the pretty colors underneath are coming up, but it's also creating a little bit of mud here and there with my balloon rolls. So I do a lot of struggling in this painting. I add, have to add colors back in quite often. See that purple and blue that just came up? That was hiding underneath all of that gold. I know it looks like I have no rhyme or reason to my paintings, but I actually think a lot about composition and um, places like that where it's just gotten too muddy. You can see I want to add more color in there. I want to make it more interesting to the eye. Now, that white really makes a pretty flower. And I love the way that looks. I think it turned out really, really pretty. The painting in general has a lot of flow and movement to it. See how that Payne's Gray is kind of popping through there too sometimes and adding depth to that flower. Now this area is very muddy, <laughs> so I just decided to scrape it off. It's just turned uh, almost a gray. So you can always scrape something off if you don't like it and then fix it. Fix, fix, fix. I just put more Payne's Gray down after I scraped and used my fingers nothing fancy because remember it will level out for the most part if you're using Floetrol and if your paints aren't too too thick. So of course I need to fix this a little bit. I'm gonna add some colors back in of the flowers but at least I have a little bit more control now. And I think that turned out really pretty. This painting is interesting and I'm seeing a lot of places that um, could use a little bit more pop. So I just go in and add the same flower colors again and I'll just bring a little bit more interest to some of those areas. Now the next thing I did to bring interest is I used high flow. I thought the high flow pearl just in a few places to accentuate some of those natural dendrites that were occurring. Look how pretty they are. Little beautiful fractals. This painting was really pretty wet and I really liked the way it dried as well. This painting could be yours at heathermaderart.com in my shop and you can also email me if you want to discuss commissions or painting sales. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.